the graph minor theorem is a really interesting and important bit of work. Um, it's a really tough theorem in, in, in two ways. So one is just that you know, it's an absolute ton of really technical work. It's 500 pages, over 20 papers, many, many years of, uh, of hard work. But there's also a, a more technical sense in which it's in some sense a, a logically sophisticated, logically complex theorem. Um, so to do this, we have to, we have to dive into an area of logic called reverse mathematics, which uh, was invented by Harvey Friedman, who's the same guy who's come up with the tree sequence and the subcubic graph sequence. And it's not a coincidence that uh, he's the, it's the same name. So let's just sort of recap the basic, uh, the basic way that uh, we, we reason in, in, in maths. So this is how uh, Euclid uh, taught us how to do it. We start with some axioms, we do some logical deduction, and we prove our theorem, right? That's the basic process. So what reverse maths does, is this approach where we uh, we start with our theorem that we want to understand, and then you ask the question, what axioms do we need to prove it? And by asking that question, you sort of gauge some, you get get information about the logical content of the theorem. What um, what the people who study this, the reverse mathematicians, have come up with is this list of what they call the Big Five systems. These are basically five different axiom schemes for mathematics, really, arithmetic, uh, the, number, the number system. And it tends to be one of these which is necessary to prove whichever theorem you're, you're interested in, okay? So they've got technical names. I think I'm just going to call them level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. And so each one of these is more sort of logically involved than the last. So level one, that's what you need to prove basic facts about numbers. So uh, something like the, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. That's the statement that um, any whole number, you can break it down into primes in essentially a unique way. Okay? So that's, uh, that can you prove it at, uh, uh, at level one. So that's the sort of simplest axiom scheme. You don't need sort of lots of uh, logically complex stuff to prove that. Level three is just about enough for pretty much all undergraduate maths. Okay, so um, real analysis. I think a lot of the theorems of real analysis come in this place. So the bolzano weierstrass theorem, the Jordan curve theorem, these kinds of things, sort of pretty, pretty sophisticated, um, but sort of undergraduate uh, level mathematics. Okay, and actually, to be honest, uh, you can you can almost put a bracket around the undergraduate there. I mean, m most of the maths that people see will be provable at this level. This, so level three is sort of the industry standard um, axiomatization of mathematics. It's enough for most purposes. Um, so it's only once you get sort of more um, arcane, lo logically complicated areas that you need to go further than that. There are places where you, you need the higher, higher level. So you get to level four, we get the perfect set theorem, for example. I don't want to get into it, but it's, uh, it's not the sort of thing that most mathematicians are going to run into. But you know, it, if you want to prove it, you need a logically stronger axiom scheme, right? And le level five, you know, there's some stuff here like the Cantor Ben Dixon theorem. So these things do arise, but it's pretty rare and it's in fairly specialized areas. We can apply exactly this reasoning then to um, the graph minor theorem and say, okay, what do we need to prove the graph minor theorem? Robertson and Seymour actually teamed up with Harvey Friedman, uh, who's the inventor of reverse maths, to try and answer that question, find out what is the, what is the logical content of the graph minor theorem? How deep do you have to go into the toolbox? And actually what they found was that, I mean, the toolbox as I've presented it so far, is uh, not enough, it's inadequate. You have to go, I mean, the, the levels beyond this are not, <laughs> are, not, are not well defined, but I mean, you probably have to go down to like level eight or something, I don't know. So I'll put it in quotes, because the first five are standards, but level eight I'm sort of making up. So um, that's not but, the, the feel of level eight. Yeah, it's got, it's got the, the feel of a level eight, so that's where the, that's where the graph minor theorem um, sits. And, and has it been done? Have the axioms been devised? And yeah, 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 and we know, we know uh, we know uh, what it what has to go into it more or less. I think. I mean, they. I think there's still some fuzz around the edges of exactly what, uh, uh, what, what what's needed. So this is all in the area of second order arithmetic. So if you if you want to just write down properties of numbers, so um, that's that's first order arithmetic. So numbers. So um, sets of numbers is second order arithmetic. Okay. And then the question is how much. If you just think of sort of arbitrary sets of numbers, they can be extremely complicated. They can be very random and so on. So how much, um, how, how far into that do you have to go to be able to prove these theorems? And uh, the answer for the graph minor theorem is, is a remarkably long way. You need, you need a lot of logical complexity. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a theorem with huge uh, logical, um, logical complexity, yeah, as, as well as being very tough to prove and, of course, 
very important. My colleague uh, at Leeds, Michael Ratchian, with his uh, PhD student, Martin Krumholtz, did some work on exactly um, what more you need. The work of Friedman, Robertson, Seymour said that level five is not enough. And then, okay, just trying to pin down exactly what we mean by this, this level eight. Rutchen and Krumholtz did some work on, uh, on pinning it down. But it's a, it's a fascinating result because it's very, very unexpected, right? Because finite graphs do not seem like complicated things, right? It's just a bunch of dots, finite number of dots, finite number of lines. I mean, how complicated can it be? Uh, uh, but the answer is um, very, very complicated indeed, which is where these very large um, numbers come from. There's a limit to how, uh, how fast growing a sequence you can get at each level. And the fact that the tree sequence and the subcubic graph sequence are very, very fast growing, in fact, they're too fast growing to be handled at these lower levels, which is why um, we only see them emerge at these, these higher levels. The, the simplicity of graphs is, is very misleading because <laughs> it seems like they should be very simple things. But actually, once you start asking about, you know, uh, Different, um, different configurations of graphs, how many are possible, what, uh, what, uh, what kind of structures can you emerge? Actually, there turns out to be, uh, well, that's why graph theory is such a very, very uh, deep, uh, deep area. It turns out to be much more uh, than you can, you can say. And actually, to really get your hands on it and say, make sort of universal statements about something as general as you know, any collection of finite graphs um, really requires an enormous amount of logical power. At the time of releasing this video, our channel sponsor Jane Street is taking applications for its next internship program. This is a chance to join one of their international teams, perhaps launch your own career to somewhere really special. Jane Street's an international quantitative trading firm and they're on the lookout for bright and curious people. If you've got a brain for things like machine learning, software engineering, statistics, programmable hardware, research, all that good stuff, this might be your big opportunity. No finance experience is necessary and Jane Street will cover any travel and accommodation costs, plus some pretty competitive compensation. Last time around, they took people from 100 different schools and 24 countries. Sounds like something you might like? Check out the details in the description and all the usual places below.